This week on UND Insider Weekly, we talk about football's season opener and the 69 points that came with it. Plus volleyball's weekend at the UND Classic. Ashley Hardy discusses the weekend's games in the coach's corner. Plus we head out into the woods to help the volleyball team hunt for a championship. And student athletes hit the links for the final leg of the Champions Club Tour. Welcome to UND Insider Weekly, alongside Tom Miller from the Grand Forks Herald, Danny Lutzen from REA and Midco Sports, and Paul Ralston from UND Athletics. I'm Tim Hennessy. The first week of UND sporting events are in the books, starting with football beating up on Valparaiso. Let's talk about a 69 to 10 win. Big things offensively, gentlemen and ladies. Uh, I guess we expected it, Tom Miller. For the most part, a big win for UND, maybe a lopsided win. Did we expect that big a lopsided win in an offense to put up 69 points? Yeah, I don't know if you could have expected on the first play, offensive play from scrimmage. Bartles throws it deep, 75 yards to Greg Harden for a touchdown. That kind of set things in motion. So we definitely learned that the passing game is still really good. Greg Harden's still really good. Uh, I think the, maybe the thing we everybody was looking for, how would Ryan Bartles and Joe Mulberg handle their first game action? I think everybody can say that they handled it very well. High percentage, everything, uh, yardage was there. Uh, both guys look to be as advertised. Danny, I'm guessing you were looking forward to seeing a couple of redshirt freshman quarterback like everybody else. What did you, what did you think in the end? Do you, do you guys think that Bartles will take over the position or do you think Smallberg will inch his way forward? Well, I think that uh, certainly, I think the competition is still there. I thought both quarterbacks, you know, accounted for themselves very well so I, I think that uh, the competition is alive and well but I think that's going to be sorted out through practice and some game reps still to be played here in the upcoming games but I, I think that's probably a great question. You know one of the things that I thought Tim when you look at it from the standpoint of what did we learn from this offensive showcase I thought the one thing we can take away is that we have two quarterbacks that can get the ball to the spots. I, I think you know they both have proven that they have the arm strength they can deliver the ball to the right spots other than that, what do you really learn in a game with Velpo? It's really tough to say that that uh, that there was that much learned, but I, I thought that's what you learned, is that you have two quarterbacks that are capable. Well, we're going to learn a lot more this weekend. I don't think there's any doubt against South Dakota State for the competition that will be there. Last year, though, the defense was uh, really a stumbling point for UND. I don't know what we'd learn again by playing Valparaiso and giving up the 10 points. Uh, what did you think defensively? I thought. They, Valpo ran the ball a little bit on them, and there were times when they had open receivers they didn't get the ball to. What do you think? Well, I think from the standpoint defensively, they weren't going to show anything, obviously, with, with what's ahead. I thought that you saw that they were still going to rotate a lot of guys in. I think that's going to be the philosophy no matter who they play, whether it's Valpo, South Dakota State, or Montana. I, the one thing I, I would say that our linebackers this year, as long as Garrison Goodman stays healthy, uh, especially on the inside, are going to come up and, and play forcefully and I think that's that's a step forward that him and Ben Ben Peters to me I felt looked relatively solid inside there and I think that's going to give them kind of a backbone to kind of fortify the defense around and I think if you start from there I guess you work forward going from that point onward in the games to come. I like that big body Cheatham in the middle too. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that's a big body. Danny did we see anything defensively that we concern or optimism for out of that game? I think like last weekend's game compared to what's coming up this weekend is going to be so different that you can't really judge from this time forward. Tom? Yeah, I think the same thing. I mean, you know, results against Valparaiso aren't going to mean a whole lot against South Dakota State, but uh, on the positive side, if you look at it, they scored 10 points. A lot of that came off uh, some miscues that couldn't be fixed, you know, that uh, Jared Garman didn't handle that punt uh, very well. It turned the ball over. That led to their first field goal. Um, you know, clean up a few of those things. You know, those aren't things that you really blame on a defense. So uh, some of the runs were a little too easy, but I think if you look at uh, the whole picture, I think they got better as the game went on. And uh, maybe that, that Jake Hudson from Valparaiso isn't that bad of a back. So How about us running the football? Jake Miller chalked up some yards. Oh, no, no doubt about it. I think that, uh, you know, you wanted to see that offensive line work a little bit. And I think that uh, from the standpoint of Jake Miller, you know, P.J. Sparks, Shagabee really showed well on, on carries near the goal line. 
they're going to need that. They're definitely going to need it uh, going into these games ahead because these are opponents that you're going to have to show case a little bit of the run to, to be successful against them. Now let's go inside to Betty Engelstead Sioux Center where the UND volleyball team held their UND Classic and they lose to Iowa State, number 15 in the country. They lose to Texas A&M who has been in the NCAA tournament I think 17 in the last 20 years or something like that and, and beat a South Dakota State team that, that was uh, relatively young. Paul, you're the volleyball aficionado around here. <laughs> what uh, was your take on the weekend? I think you might have been the only ones that got to see the matches. Great crowds, huh? It was a fantastically well-attended uh, event. I was really pleased to see that because, you know, you have uh, Labor Day weekend, people can go elsewhere, but getting down to business, playing the teams that they played, they challenged themselves, and actually they accounted for themselves very well on the court with Iowa State and Texas A&M. Forget the results, they battled those teams in those games, and I think Coach Hardy's got to be very pleased with maybe an emergence of a young player, uh, like uh, this young Mosier girl who was out of Oregon. She was really in a nice presence on the floor for him when she got her court time. Danny, what'd you think? You didn't get a chance to see it, but I know you're familiar with the volleyball team. You call I the do. games at Midco. I do. Um, I think it's going to come down to um, being more consistent. With games with Iowa State and Texas A&M, they can't allow those three-point runs. They have to eliminate it to one, and I think that's what got them in trouble this past weekend. And I think the team right now, um, having two different setters, they need to be more consistent throughout the whole throughout the whole court. Tom, I think we've got a couple of big timers, I think, inside, almost as good as just about anybody in the big sky or that they may see as well as competition. And, and Parlick and Munka be uh, how far can that carry? Well, I think just like we're talking about the football team going into that next stretch against South Dakota State, it's going to teach us a lot. We'll probably learn a lot when they go on this next stretch. Uh, we face teams like UAB, Middle Tennessee State, uh, I think Virginia in that stretch. So uh, the next upcoming stretch might be a little more on par with what they can handle, you know, maybe Texas A&M and Iowa State are just that notch above, so coming back to some teams that should be in their range, I think uh, we'll probably see a lot of Lisa Parlick and Ronnie Monkeby and some of those uh, players that have been in the program for a long time. We're tearing down the old Ralph. It's just about complete, as a matter of fact. Let's talk about uh, what North Dakota is going to build, the new indoor practice facility, and what that will mean for UND and, the ath and the athletics here, Tom. Well, I think, you know, the Ralph Engelstead Arena always represents that wow factor. That's good for recruits, it's good for fans, it's good for everything. I think uh, the indoor practice facility is going to give that wow factor to a lot of other programs, whether it's track and cross country, obviously the football program is going to utilize that a lot. Uh, you look at this last spring, how miserably cold it was when the football team's going through spring drills and you got, you know, snowbanks lying in the Memorial Stadium, you got star players running into snowbanks. Uh, th that's just going to help out a ton, having that facility. Danny, does it mean the practice they'll be able to accomplish in there means more than the wow factor in recruiting. What do you think? I think it's going to help a lot with recruiting athletes that don't like the snow and they can go indoors. And it, I mean, we had a lot of girls from California and like from warm weather places where you think and there's two feet of snow and it just doesn't really help the recruiting thing. But I think this whole facility is going to be amazing for you. Well, I, I, for some reason, I think that it's going to be bigger impact recruiting-wise than actual in practice. Oh, I, I completely agree with you, Tim. And, and, and you bring up a great point because uh, regionally here, we have a lot of local uh, high schools that utilize UND facilities for local track meets during the mm -hmm. high school season, indoor meets, and things of that nature. Uh, for state indoor, you could have that. It's going to expose a, a new type of athlete uh, to UND and UND athletics more than anybody could ever imagine. I think that's just a huge positive for UND Athletics. Certainly, you know, it'll help for track and field, there's no doubt, but for football, I think having a controlled environment, which they will have for more than half of their, or at least half of their games every season, should make a big difference, I would think. Well, coming up, the UND Volleyball squad goes on a photo shoot in the woods as they hunt for a championship. Preparation starts early. You're setting up cameras, scouting the area, sitting in a tree stand. No unnecessary movements. Blend into your surroundings. The animal pops out and you're ready to go. The atmosphere at the archery shop is awesome. It's a place to get info on how to become a better bow hunter. I'm Eric Shack. I'm an archery expert at Shields. 
Some consider graduation the end of the college experience. For others, it's just the beginning. And the university provided an environment where I could grow. And many years after I graduated, I'm still receiving dividends from my experience as a student at UND. The University of North Dakota Alumni Association is committed to growing the university by growing the alumni family. Right now at Burger King, choose any two sandwiches for just five bucks. Whether you're craving a Whopper sandwich and an original chicken sandwich, an original chicken sandwich and a premium Alaskan fish sandwich, or a Whopper and another Whopper, come in today and get any two for just five bucks. Only at Burger King, where taste is king. Right now at Burger King, choose any two sandwiches for just five bucks. Whether you're craving a Whopper sandwich and an original chicken sandwich, an original chicken sandwich and a premium Alaskan fish sandwich, or a Whopper and another Whopper, come in today and get any two for just five bucks. Only at Burger King, where taste is king. Preparation starts early. You're setting up cameras, scouting the area, sitting in a tree stand. No unnecessary movements. Blend into your surroundings. The animal pops out and you're ready to go. The atmosphere at the archery shop is awesome. It's a place to get info on how to become a better bow hunter. I'm Eric Shack. I'm an archery expert at Shields. North Dakota football single game tickets are on sale now. It's the 48th annual Potato Bowl as North Dakota takes on regional rival South Dakota State on Saturday, September 7th. Kickoff is at 6 p.m. UND Insider Weekly is sponsored by Shields gear, passion, sports, by Burger King, where taste is king, and by the Ground Round. This year, the UND Volleyball Squad has a motto for their second year in the Big Sky Conference. They are hunting for a championship, and they figure just the way to show how. Well, we're out here in the woods today. We're getting some, uh, some good photos for our, for our poster we're going to use for the season. Kind of got a new theme this year. It's like a hunting season. They're hunting in the big sky, uh, going for a championship. So we thought we'd come out in the woods and get a good couple of good shots. It's the hunting and, and fishing and just outdoors and uh, this is what people do and it's the summertime and uh, I don't know exactly what season we're in and hunting. I can't go that far with you, but, uh, but it's great to be out here. I think it's going to be real fitting for, for our season. It is very hot. You probably see I'm sweating. And I'm wearing this jacket. I'm dying right now, but there's a nice breeze, so it's sunny and it's not raining. The theme is that we're kind of BA and it's sort of it's hunting season, so we're out here. Ready for my close-up. <laughs> Let me see it! the one
one where we all kind of went up in a tree and stood in front of that. Okay. Um, it was more fun, it was more relaxed and kind of awkward when we take serious pictures. So if we can make it more fun, then it'll be more relaxed. Fresh off the UND Classic weekend, head coach Ashley Hardy now joins us. Ashley, you've got some uh, gals that they know how to go hunting, don't they? Well, Come I've been, on, make up the whole deal. I know, I saw the mirrors and everything. That's what happens in the woods, right? <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's what happens in the woods. You had a great and, uh, well, I guess it, it was successful the weekend in the UND Classic in, in that you grew great crowds and I think had a lot of enthusiasm for your squad. What'd you think? It was. It was a great weekend. It was The environment in the Betty was fantastic over the weekend. You know, we'd love to win every game that we play, but uh, but if we scheduled that way, it wouldn't necessarily be a, that fulfilling of a season. You know, in order to prepare us to win championships and to be, you know, in the hunt at the end of the season, uh, then, then we need to play teams like in Iowa State and, uh, and Texas A&M, you know, throughout each season. And then we'll always play our rivalry games, South Dakota State and the rest of the Dakota schools. But uh, but it was a good weekend. Well, it goes by the boards. Ronnie Monk could be predicted an undefeated season, and you backed her up. So we got to start well, from scratch on that deal. Huh? We'll do the undefeated part in the big sky. How about that? There you go. Yeah. I'll take that for sure. <laughs> now, Coach, uh, you know, this weekend from what I saw, you certainly got your play that you expect out of your veterans like Parlick and Monkabee. But, uh, you know, your youngsters continue to evolve and get better. Uh, Lauren Clark and Mackenzie Hart were there for you last year, and they got to play like veterans now, but they're still young by standards. Uh, that you know, they only have one season behind them. And then you can bring in like a Chelsea Moser, uh, who is uh, just kind of evolving and you know, really kind of embracing all the court time that she receives. And I thought she did rather well with it, what she received this this week. Yeah, you know, it's interesting you talk about Lauren Clark and Mackenzie Hart to start with, and kind of and what our expectations of those guys, and uh, and gosh, they're sophomores. You know, and, and, and Lauren Clark played for one of the best clubs in the country in sports performance. She played year round, but Mackenzie Hart played for a great high school team at Langdon, but didn't play year round volleyball really. And what she's been able to do uh, has really been fantastic. You know, Mackenzie actually led us in digs in the Texas A&M match. Now she basically only plays half the time. Lauren Clark plays the whole time. And that's no knock on Lauren. It's just how well that Mackenzie's been able to play this early in her career. And so we like what those two, uh, what those two offer us. And then Chelsea had really had a breakout game, I think, against Texas A&M. Uh, um, she's probably the middle of the future after Ronnie and Lisa graduate. Uh, we're trying to find some opportunities for her to play and get in. Sometimes on the outside, she actually found a way on the in on the right side in the rotation. But we had her hitting middle, and gosh, she went five for seven against Texas A&M and hit over 500 and, and helped us with a lot of blocks too. She had a great weekend. And you talk about young. She's a redshirt freshman, but uh, you're saying age-wise, she should really just be a freshman. Oh, well, she should be. She came to us last year from Oregon, and uh, and she skipped a grade in high school, and uh, you know as some people do. And so last year with us, she should have been a senior in high school. This year should be a true freshman. And so she's still got a whole lot of growing to do and, and uh, in her game and, and physically. And I think she'll continue to get stronger. And uh, she's going to be, she's got a really bright future. A few more weekends until the Big Sky. Talk about next weekend at Middle Tennessee State. Again, three quality opponents. They really are. Middle Tennessee is a great program. Uh, um, uh, Coach Peck has been there for a while. They actually made a Sweet 16 run just a few years ago, uh, beating Hawaii along the way. Um, we're going to also see Virginia Tech while we're there, and I believe they were picked fifth or sixth in the ACC preseason poll, uh, as well as Alabama, Birmingham, UAB, and Austin P as well. So uh, we're going to get four matches. There's five teams total there. We're going to get four matches in just two days. Uh, so it's going to be a lot of good volleyball while we're there. Thanks, Coach. Appreciate you being here and join us again, won't you? Okay, thanks. Coach Ashley Hardy of the UND Volleyball Team. Still to come, the UND Champions Club helps raise scholarships for student athletes. And earlier this month, they finished up their summer golf tour with one final stop here in Grand Forks. Be a North Dakota Junior Champion! For $25, kids 8th grade and younger get all these great benefits. The official North Dakota Junior Champions t-shirt and membership lanyard. Free admission to 63 UND home games, including one men's hockey game and one football game. A birthday card on your birthday, a monthly newsletter, opportunities to be the Junior Champions captain of the game, and more! Join the North Dakota Junior Champions for just $25 today. Register in person at Shields in Grand Forks or online at undsports.com. Game on! Right now at Burger King, choose any two sandwiches for just five bucks. Whether you're craving a Whopper sandwich and an original chicken sandwich, an original chicken sandwich and a premium Alaskan fish sandwich, or a Whopper and another Whopper, come in today and get any two for just five bucks. Only at Burger King, where taste is king. Preparation starts early. You're setting up cameras, scouting the area. 
sitting in a tree stand. No unnecessary movements. Blend into your surroundings. The animal pops out and you're ready to go. The atmosphere at the archery shop is awesome. It's a place to get info on how to become a better bow hunter. I'm Eric Shack. I'm an archery expert at Shields. Right now at Burger King, choose any two sandwiches for just five bucks. Whether you're craving a Whopper sandwich and an original chicken sandwich, an original chicken sandwich and a premium Alaskan fish sandwich, or a Whopper and another Whopper, come in today and get any two for just five bucks. Only at Burger King, where taste is king. North Dakota football resumes this Saturday against South Dakota State in the annual Potato Bowl. The game starts at 6 o'clock. Get your tickets at the Alaris Center box office or undsports.com. The Champions Club Golf Tour is one of the biggest fundraising efforts for student athlete scholarships at UND. Last year, the golf tour raised nearly $23,000. The golf tour also allows students and athletes and coaches to interact and give thanks to those who give back. Today we have golfers out here in support of UND Athletics. We have student athletes out here helping, doing hole contests and things like that. All the money goes back to student athlete scholarships. Great day, it's the last Champions Club uh, golf tournament uh, this summer and a great turnout today and uh, all the funds go to support our student athletes with scholarship support and uh, I think everybody had a really good time. This is the best uh, turnout we've had in terms of our student athletes being able to come out and, and work on the, on the course and help out. I think the, the people that participated, they had a really good time. We've heard from a lot of people, they just, by them meeting the student athletes and even the coaches, they get to golf with our head coaches. They learn more about the program than they, they see, you know, in articles or on TV or anything like that. Once they really get to know them, they really understand what those scholarship dollars mean to those student athletes and those coaches and to those programs. So we definitely have people that really appreciate um, the support that people give to UND Athletics through these tournaments. Great being out here, uh, being around people that are all about North Dakota athletics. So uh, nice to meet some of the guys that really support us out here. Um, it's definitely fun getting to interact with them. So that yeah, was fun. You know what's nice just because when I'm playing golf, obviously you don't get to meet a whole lot of the fans because you're out grinding on the course all day. So it's nice to be able to talk to some of the people while you're out there. So yeah, it's definitely good. They give us an opportunity to reconnect with our fans. Uh, it gets our coaches out. Uh, in a lot of instances, we're able to get our student athletes out as well, and they're great ambassadors. It's a great way to generate revenue for the program that we, we definitely need uh, to fund our scholarships. And then most importantly, I think uh, we want people to have fun and when they're re-engaged with, with UND Athletics, and I think that's what happens when they play in these golf tournaments. and builds up great relationships and allows us to take those relationships in different directions uh, uh, down the road in support of the program. So it's really important for us. really well. Um, we had a comeback tournament in Bismarck. We haven't been there for a couple of years and that actually sold out and was the biggest tournament we've had ever in the history of our golf tournament.
Coming up, we look into our crystal ball to predict what will happen this weekend. UND Insider Weekly is sponsored by Shields, Gear, Passion, Sports. By Burger King, where taste is king. And by The Ground Round. Single game tickets are on sale now. It's the 48th annual Potato Bowl as North Dakota takes on regional rival South Dakota State on Saturday, September 7th. Kickoff is at 6 p.m. Right now at Burger King, choose any two sandwiches for just five bucks. Whether you're craving a Whopper sandwich and an original chicken sandwich, an original chicken sandwich and a premium Alaskan fish sandwich, or a Whopper and another Whopper, come in today and get any two for just five bucks. Only at Burger King, where taste is king. Right now at Burger King, choose any two sandwiches for just five bucks. Whether you're craving a Whopper sandwich and an original chicken sandwich, an original chicken sandwich and a premium Alaskan fish sandwich, or a Whopper and another Whopper, come in today and get any two for just five bucks. Only at Burger King, where taste is king. Prediction time, ladies and gentlemen. North Dakota, South Dakota State, first time in Grand Forks. Uh, it's got to be at least 10, 12 years, something like that. Tom, what do you think? I think uh, South Dakota State being number six in the country right now. Um, I expect a little bit of a shootout with UND's offense. they got to keep Zach Zenner, keep his uh, yards short, but I think 38-31 uh, South Dakota State. Okay. I'm going to go with UND, 28-21. I think the hype from the potato bowl is going to put us on top. I like all the fans to stick around because it's going to be Zeb Miller kicking the game winner as time expires, 31-28, North Dakota, potato bowl, eat some french fries. If Zenner gets 30 carries, we might be in trouble. If he only gets 20, we should be okay. And I think they can limit it to him. I've got faith in Josh Kotelnicki this weekend. I'm going to go 33-27, North Dakota. Tom Miller from the Grand Forks Herald, thanks. Another great job as always. Danny Letson, thanks for stopping by from REA awesome. and Major Sports. Good to see you. And Paul, thank you. I'm Tim Hennessy and UND Insider Weekly coming up on our next episode. Well, that will be next Tuesday, as a matter of fact, at 8 o'clock on UND Insider. And then Friday at 5.30 on Midco Sports Network.